Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick 9 g Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the three stooges. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I highly encourage you to browse the channel. I have over 1,400 videos focusing on classic TV shows, movies, things that you will absolutely enjoy. Now in this video, we're going to talk about Shemp Howard. Shemp Howard, as you know, is one of the three stooges, was one of the three stooges, and of course, in case you don't know, he was my absolute favorite. I was a fan of Mo Howard being my favorite, and then slowly I migrated into Shemp. I love his little idiosyncrasies. I love his subtlety, and he was just purely funny without trying too hard. I want to get a little bit into his life, not too deep. However, I do want to focus on some of his phobias. He did have many, and I was surprised when I learned about them. I think you are going to be as well. Now, without getting in too much detail, I do want to say that Shemp Howard was one of the Howard brothers, at least on screen. He was the real-life brother of Mo Howard and Curly Howard. He was the original third stooge. What I mean by that was we had Mo Howard and Larry Fine, and then we had Shemp Howard along with Ted Healy who actually made a group in vaudeville and they did a lot of live performances. Those are not the shorts that we are used to. Shemp moved on to make other movies on his own with other people, not with the brothers and Larry Fine and even Ted Healy. Then for many reasons, I'm doing a brief summary, Ted Healy left and they needed a third stooge to compliment Mo and Larry. So they decided, why don't we use my little brother, Babe or Jerome Howard, Jerry for short, and they named him curly i really ran through that quickly but i wanted to give you a good idea then unfortunately after he had some health problems that is curly howard he was made to recover and they pulled in shemp howard now shemp howard for many people was not their favorite many people enjoy curly and his antics and i definitely understand and know why he is great of course but i think shemp was more subtle he was more naturally funny without trying too hard his humor was very different from that of the boisterous curly type antics and so i could appreciate that for him now off camera he was a very interesting man for a lot of different reasons and of course i mentioned a lot of them are his phobias one of them being that he did not drive which is insane to think about yes shem powered was not a driver he often took taxis wherever he needed to go or his brothers would take him wherever he needed to go the reason for this was in the mid 1920s he was driving and he drove a car straight through a barbershop window that kind of we can say traumatized him up to the point where he wouldn't even get behind the wheel of an automobile until 25 years later when he was filming a scene for one of the stooge shorts. Now what happened was that Edward Burns, who directed one of these films, said that Shemp hadn't been behind the wheel in so long, but they needed him to do this scene that is behind the wheel. Shemp completely refused when he found out that he had to do this. But the director was trying to reassure him and say, hey, all you need to do is to make a short turn out of a driveway, then we would cut away. That's it. It was literally a few seconds that we need. Shemp actually gave it a few tries and became so jittery that the director decided, hey, let's just take him off of this. He is so nervous and not doing well physically. We can see that his phobia is starting to come through. So what they ended up doing was they had two or three young grips pull the car on ropes. And all Shemp had to do was literally sit behind the wheel and move the steering wheel back and forth where he wasn't even really moving. And it came out great for that scene. Not only that, but he was terrified of flying in airplanes, which can be understood because in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and so forth, aviation was still very early. A lot of people are very skeptical about it, very afraid, and so that is understood. When his brothers would go to Europe and would go on travels, he would either drive to some place, take a quick road trip, someone would drive him, or he would just stay at home and watch a lot of the fights. He was a big, avid sports fan. He was also extremely afraid of heights. So anytime you see a short where there is Shemp up there and he's doing something out of basically hilarious fear, that's not him. That's a stuntman or they would make it so they was really close to the ground and they would make the setup, the facade, so that it would look like he was high up. He also disliked elevators so much. They made him completely nervous and basically 
incapacitated him to the point where he couldn't do much. And the only way he would step on a boat was if it remained tethered to the dock. That is insane to think about, guys and gals. He also did not work at all with animals. He absolutely had a terrible fear of working with animals. So anytime there's a scene of him with an animal, it is either not real or they would put a stunt double there in his place. He insisted if he had to be in the scene and there was no choice, they had to use a glass barrier between him and the critter, especially a crocodile or any alligator that they had to use. I hope you enjoyed this, guys and gals. Wow, poor guy, he had so many phobias, but he still made us laugh. I wanna know what your phobias are. One of mine is spiders. I can't stand spiders. I think they're wonderful animals. I just think they're a bit creepy and freak me out. Let me know down below your fears. I think it's great to share them and know that, hey, even our favorite celebrities like Shim Howard had him as well. We'll see you next time and don't forget guys and gals, be hopeful. Thank you so much to all my supporters on Patreon, especially my diamond tier patrons. Tommy G, Citizen Kane 359, Grace U, Sally N, David D, and Ricky. You can find exclusive content on Patreon at different tiers. Go ahead and check it out and thank you so much.